Tonight, a look into one of the contributing factors to our homeless crisis. L.A. County has more than 100,000 Section 8 vouchers at its disposal. So why are approved applicants still waiting for housing? Christine Lazar joins us now with some answers and may surprise a lot of people, Christine. You know, I always thought that it was just a waiting game, that not enough people were moving up on the list. Mm -hmm. But now I realize that people are getting vouchers, they just don't have anywhere to use them. So the average rent for a two bedroom in Los Angeles is nearly $3,000 a month. But what the federal government will pay for that apartment under its Section 8 program is far less. Experts say there are not enough affordable rentals to go around and not enough landlords willing to open their doors to Section 8 tenants. Fernando Gomez's path to homelessness began with the loss of his mother. I never intended to be homeless. I don't think anybody does. The East Los Angeles college student lost his job when he left the state to attend her funeral. And then he lost his apartment. He ended up sleeping on a bench at the El Monte bus station and I would stay in front of the bus station where the cameras were. But it was scary because I carried my school laptop with me and my school books. Social workers eventually got Gomez into a motel and then into a pod share. And then he got word in November that he qualified for a Section 8 emergency housing voucher. I felt like everything would be solved and, you know, I could finally focus on my schoolwork. Instead, Gomez experienced weeks and then months of waiting. It's kind of like an emotional game. Like I kind of have given up again. It can be hard to find housing for anyone for a variety of reasons. Carissa Champaglia is Gomez's social worker. She says it's not unusual for it to take months between the time someone is accepted into the Section 8 voucher program to when they actually get a permanent roof over their head. One of the issues that comes up most common is a low credit score. Which most homeless and working poor have. Landlords also tend to want a stable employment history. If they have any kind of background that could come up, a felony or misdemeanor, that could get in the way. Sometimes it's just they've been in the system and, and they are pigeonholed as a certain type of person. The county of LA has about 100,000 Section 8 vouchers. And this summer, LA County received an additional 7,000 emergency vouchers under the American Rescue Plan. But Emilio Salas with the LA County Development Authority says there is simply not enough housing to go around. So there's already a scarcity of rental units available. When you then consider that they're competing against other renters that may have a stable job, great credit history, rental history, our clients typically may have evictions on, on their record, may not be stably employed, may be battling mental health issues. So from a property owner's perspective, they may be much more hesitant. There are incentives for landlords to rent to Section 8 tenants. Secure rent guaranteed by the federal government, an upfront signing bonus of $2,500, and up to $5,000 in reimbursement for repairs and renovation. But often, that's still not enough. One of the things that we're experiencing right now in light of the eviction moratorium is many of them aren't interested in any kind of government program, saying, you know what, they feel burned, they feel very resentful. And even with rents skyrocketing over the past two years, up until a few weeks ago, the most a Section 8 landlord could receive for a two-bedroom unit in L.A. County was $2,450. The county just got permission to bump it up to $2,700. It has not kept pace in the sense that what's really happening out on the street on a day-to-day -day basis Basis, those rents are definitely outpacing what that payment standard is set at. Gomez did finally get an apartment almost four months after he received his voucher. Oh, yeah. He admits he was about to give up. But with a place to call his own, he now has dreams of transferring to UCLA to study law. I want to help people who live in LA in the same situation that I am. Now, Section 8 was originally meant to give access to modest neighborhoods with good schools. But at the rate it's paying, experts say recipients are almost always forced into areas with extreme poverty, with schools that are struggling. And that creates a cycle of poverty that is very hard to overcome.
So do we need more housing for Section 8 people? We need more housing that's affordable, right? I mean, we need more housing across the board. Anyway, but, but especially affordable housing. And, you know, landlords, there are a lot of incentives for them to accept those vouchers. But if they can get more money from someone who's not on yeah. Section 8, or if they want good credit, or if they want stable employment history, a lot of the people, especially if they've been homeless, are not going to have those things. No. And you can't force a landlord to say, take a Section 8 housing voucher. So you just have to hopefully make it, you know, incentivized enough to take it. Now, I will say one thing that all of these advocates have told me, you know, there's been so much of people not being able to pay their rent during right. COVID. Had they been a Section 8 housing tenant, those landlords still would have had their money because they would have been paid by the federal by the government. government. So there is some security there. Whether landlords want to take it or not, um, that's the struggle. Oh, I really hope that changes. Thanks Me so too. much, Christine. Mm -hmm. And if you have an, a story idea for Christine, just email two on your side at cbs.com and Christine will see what she can do to help you out.